The latest Rewa.com data has shown that Perth property prices have held stable in April, despite sales volumes dropping 40% for the month. So let's get into all the details of how the Perth property market performed. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series, where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So Rewa President Damien Collins said, pleasingly, we have seen another increase to the CoreLogic hedonic home value in Perth, which is up 0.2% for the month, making it the sixth month in a row to see home values increase or stabilise. Mr Collins said, with the current median house price sitting at $477,000, it is positive to note that despite the current economic conditions, sellers are not being forced to sell and lower their sales prices to do so. Another positive for sellers, this month is that it's quicker to sell a house now than it was a year ago with the median days to sell sitting at 65 days compared to 77. Now, Mr. Collins said from a property listings perspective, in April's uh, listings sale, uh, sorry, listings for sale decreased 5% with just over 11,500 properties for sale on rewa.com. Mr. Collins said the full impacts of COVID-19 on the property markets are not known at this stage. However, with listings lowering 5%, this demonstrates that there's not an influx of people who are trying to sell their homes due to being in financial distress. The current initiatives by the federal and state government are helping to ensure that homeowners are not forced to sell their properties, Mr. Collins said. Looking forward, the outlook of the property market is contingent upon a speedy economic recovery, and we anticipate sales activity picking back up. Mr. Collins said during the month, uh, we saw weekly sales transactions sitting at a low of less than 300 per week, and that was with the exception of last week, which was over 430 transactions. Now, in order to keep this momentum going and ensure that economic conditions improve, the Western Australian government may need to cut stamp duty and we ask the government to consider short-term changes to help incentivise buyers as well as long-term tax reform, removing stamp duty and replacing it with a broader-based land tax system. And that's all coming from Mr Collins. Perth's rental market has remained relatively stable again this month despite the pandemic, Mr Collins said. This month, we saw Perth's median rent lower slightly to $350 per week. However, if we break this down into units and houses, the unit median remains stable at $340 a week and the house median lowered only $5 to $375 per week. Listings for rent were up 4% in April with over 5,500 listings on rent on rewa.com. While we saw a slight increase in listings, overall this is not a significant change. This combined with leasing activity, which lowered 21% for April, demonstrates the current restrictions on movement. People are, pay are staying put in their homes. Now, Mr Collins also said most tenants are meeting their rental obligations and it is important for those who are not struggling financially due to the impacts of the coronavirus to still pay their rent. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series, and if you wanna submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. I'll speak to you soon.